There has been a death in my badminton racket family. My Yonix nanoray glands is no longer. Rest in peace, nanoray glands. <laughs> but I'm actually not so upset because I haven't used it in months. Aja, actually, my boyfriend, he borrowed it and he broke it. But I haven't been using it because I actually have other rackets that I prefer and they are not famous. So I wanted to introduce some Asian badminton racket brands that I think you should know about. Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky. If this is your first time here, I'm an American living and playing badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. Okay, so we all know the big brands. We all know Victor Yannick's Leaning. We know the smaller brands like Adidas, Oliver, Babalat. We know these brands. But here in Asia, we have some really big brands that I think people outside of Asia haven't heard about that I wanna to introduce to you because I really like them. <laughs> now I should tell you, I am no expert on rackets. I just know what I like and like what I know. <laughs> I have actually never bought a badminton racket. If you saw my other video introducing my badminton rackets, um, you'll find out that I have never bought a badminton racket. <laughs> Friends have bought me some for gifts or mostly it's my coach. I realized I'm kind of sponsored by my coach. <laughs> like he gives me so many rackets, he gives me shoes. I trust him more than anybody and he knows how I play and he knows what I need and what I like. So the rackets that he gives me, I actually end up really liking, but I've never heard of them before. Because he's not only a top player, but he's also the owner of a badminton court. He gets a lot of like special deals and rackets and stuff for free from companies to try to promote their brands. So I've been introduced to a lot of brands. I wanna introduce three Asian brands to you because these are some brands that I really like. The first one is perhaps the oldest of the companies and perhaps the most well-known. I know they do sell outside of China. It is called Wish. It's the Wish company. I have a lot of Wish stuff. Wish towel, my shoes are Wish brand shoes. To be honest, I don't love this racket. This is an Air Carbon, Carbon Pro 82. I do not love this racket. I don't use it that often, but I have used many Wish rackets that I do like. They are actually not only just a Chinese company, but they are a local company to Shaman. So they are very, very, very big here. Everybody uses them all the time. And they're really high quality for low price. I know that they're available in some other Asian countries and I do find their products um, high quality, good use. They've been around for like 20 years and they've had sponsors like Chen Long. They used to sponsor him before he was such a big pro. So even though I don't love the racket, I just wanted to quickly introduce Wish because I've been very happy with their brand, especially their shoes. Even though they're made in Asia, they kind of fit the Western foot. I kind of have a wide foot and I do buy men's size shoes in China, but I find them really comfortable and you know, they're not, they're not gonna last you years, but you shouldn't use badminton shoes for years, right? You wear them out pretty quick. So I, Totally recommend the Wish brand, especially for shoes and accessories. Although, like I said in previous videos, like their clothes are really ugly. <laughs> the next company and my second favorite racket is a company called Excalibur. Obviously, as kind of a nerd, I really love the name of this racket. It's called an Excalibur Knight. But I actually just really, really like this racket as well. This company is not so big. Um, my coach gave this racket to me and again, they, they gave it to him to promote the brand. I've been using this racket for maybe two years and I actually really like it. It's very hard to find information about this company. Um, it is a Chinese company. They are based in Guangzhou. I checked all over the Chinese internet. They do have a website, but they don't give a lot of information. I don't know when the company started and obviously they're not super big. I have not seen any sort of like Excalibur shirts or bags or anything. And I haven't seen a lot of people use these rackets, but I really like this racket. It just, you know, quality's good. Um, price is not so bad. It was not a very expensive racket, I believe. And you know, if you run across an Excalibur racket, I would give it a shot. Don't dismiss it because maybe it's a brand you never heard of, but um, I really, really, really like it. But my current favorite racket is this one. It is a whoop, GXS. This one says China, but the company I believe is a Malaysian company. This racket is a UNS-C. Um, it is made in China. It can handle up to 34 pounds of tension. The racket says it's made in China. 
But when I looked up information about the company, um, it says it's a Malaysian company. They have a Facebook page and a website. This looks like a relatively new company. I asked Aja to help me look around on the Chinese internet and it looks like maybe they were like a factory that made badminton rackets before and they decided to make their own brand. So it's relatively new. I think it started in 2017. That's when their Facebook page started and their web page didn't start till 2018. So I, really like this racket a lot. Um, I do prefer heavy rackets. This is a nice heavy racket. I have it strung to 30 pounds tension and I really, really recommend this brand. By the way, GXS stands for like great, excellent service. <laughs> so I just wanted to introduce it. Um, I am a big fan of this UNS-C. I have not used any other rackets, so I can't comment about that. But I have seen a lot of people are now wearing shirts and they're carrying bags. So I think this brand is getting bigger and bigger. And if you check their website, it looks relatively new and they are selling a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to briefly introduce some brands that are maybe not as big and famous as Leaning and Yannix, but that I really like. And I think you should give some other brands a try because they tend to be cheaper because they don't have the, the big brand names of the big three but they're really excellent quality. And especially if you can find some coming out of Asia because Asians have a very high standard, right? It's like so popular and respected here that they need a high standard of racket. So if you find an Asian company, like chances are the quality is gonna be pretty good. Maybe not like as good as, you know, the top level Yonix and stuff, but really good quality for usually a more affordable price. These companies are hard to find, especially in Europe and America, but I will put some um, links to the websites below. Um, none of this is affiliated. Um, if they want to contact me for sponsorship, I'd be happy. But these are just totally, in my opinion, what I use because of my coach. I still have a couple Victor rackets. I don't have any more Yonix rackets. But the rackets that I like the most is the uh, GXS, the Excalibur, and my Adidas racket. So I really like the small brands a lot more than the larger brands. And I think we should promote small brands and I think we should encourage people to support small brands so we kind of don't have to live under the uh, shackles of the big brands <laughs> and only what they have to offer. So what about you? Do you use a different brand, a lesser known, smaller brand, badminton rackets, and do you really enjoy them? Let me know in the comments below. And you know, I just want to encourage you to try some new stuff. Don't be scared just because you haven't heard about the company doesn't mean they're gonna be crappy. Just give it a try, right? And the more companies that enter the badminton scene, it's just good for us as the users. It means more choice and more variety and more innovation. So don't be scared to try new rackets.